Well, this part video, part three of this video, for this 98 Dodge Ram, you'd have to watch the other two parts, but basically, the truck just died on him one day. We found that the crank sensor was shortened at all, no comp to the computer. So we got a new crank sensor, fixed all that. We have comm, but if you watch this part three of the video, um, we lose our ASD relay, we get power and then we lose it. Still crank no start, but however, we do have comm, so. This is part three of the video, and there's probably gonna be a part four once we figure out the rest of this mystery for this 98 Dodge Ram. <clears throat> All right, we're back to this 98 Dodge Ram. We put a new crank sensor in it, which is a pain in the butt. I got my breakout leads up to the crank sensor. I got my one of my fill injector off. I should have 12 volts <clears throat> on this wire key on engine off the ASD relay. Well, if you come over here and look, Key, in, key on engine off. We don't have our service engine light on anymore. I turn the power off. I'll wait till it gets to the next screen. Turn the power off. Key on engine off. That's the ground side. Let me go back to the power side. Same thing. Key on engine off. No lights though. Turn it off. Key on engine off. Look at that. It goes the volt battery voltage and it goes back down. Key on engine off. Key on engine off. And I'll crank it. Nothing. You can hear it cranking, but it stays down there. So why am I losing power for my ASD relay? I gotta look at that. Now let me show you the crank sensor next. Alright, so got my leads hooked up here. We're gonna go to uh, pins one and three. I just throw them in there. All right, so the crank sensor pin one and three. So three should have five volt reference, one signal, two ground. Well, I'm on pin three now, five volt reference, which we have right there, five volt reference. But I'm gonna move it to pin one now, should be our signal. Because when I hook the scan tool up, I can talk to it now, but I have no crank revolution counters so I moved it to pin one now under the truck and I still got 5 volt reference now let's crank it nothing let me move it back and crank it back to pin 3 5 volt reference just, just crank it and see nothing let's go to this center pin 2 which is the center ground and see what we got now we're on the center pin 2 signal ground or center ground Nothing, right? So it's weird. I have five volt reference on both the five volt reference circuit, which we expect that five volts. We never had that before because we couldn't talk to it until we fixed that short. And the crank sensor from part, you have to watch part one and two of videos of this. But uh, why do we have five volts on the signal when it's not even doing nothing? And our engine light's not on. We have no crank counts. And we don't have 12 volts to the injector that we do only during key cycle. All right, so he did a full system scan. The only thing that's talking is the PCM, TCM. It's the same thing. Weird that we don't have, we didn't talk to the instrument cluster or any other modules or ABS. We go to report. No crank reference at PCM, which we know that, right? Plus, I had it unplugged. Okay, that's why it's not starting. So if I go to live data in here, um, once it pulls up, see we're talking to it. There's our SCI bus talking. Those two blue lights. We go to live data, so we obviously have COM. If you watch part one and two, we didn't have COM until we fixed this. We found the shorter crank sensor. There's still something else going on, obviously. Show you something here when it pulls up. Like I said, it's so weird that we have, we have a five volt reference, which is good, but why do we have five volts on the other one? Why isn't it going to ground? And why are we losing our ASD voltage? Even when we're cranking, it should be there the whole time should be on there with key on engine off the computer controls the ground for the ASD relay all right so we go in here for live data crank and we'll do cam we know the cam is working so watch our current cam and crank cranking it cams reading no crank signal at all now, 
Let's look at our CCD bus, Chrysler Collision Detection. I believe it's pins 3 and 11. And then we can look at that. That's module to module communication. Let's take a look at that while we're on the vehicle next. I'm on pins 3 and 11. If you watch my other videos, we talk about Chrysler Collision Detection. That's just detection among modules. It's from talking from module to module communication. Yes, you're at like almost 300 millivolts, but that's your square wave right there. Put a trigger on here. That's our module to module communication. Changed heights a little bit right there. So now let's look at our SEI bus. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna check the SEI bus now. When you do the SEI bus, it's scanned to communication and programming. And I believe it's module to module as well for certain modules like TCM and stuff. But I'm in live data, reading live data. Should be a 5 volt bias and going down. Pin 6 and 7 to ground. I'm doing 7 to ground and then 6 to ground. Well, if I go in here a real small scale, put a trigger on, and I zoom in on this, the square wave doesn't even look right. There's hash on there, doesn't even look like a square wave. Let's go in 5 volts to 0. Let's go to pin 6 to ground. Again, you want more detail, watch parts 1 and 2 of this, how all this works. Look at that. It does not look right at all. Besides the bias voltage. So I think that's we're having communication issues with the computer. Even though we can talk to it. But the communication issue with the computer or we got a bad wire again. Communication inside the computer or a bad wire. Let's cut that signal ground. Remove that signal ground that we had issues with in part 1 or 2 of the video. And we'll go from there. All right, we're communicating now. We're going to have him cut the wire when I tell him and see what we got. Go ahead and cut it. Cut it? Yep. Look, our check engine light came back on now. <laughs> our, our bus stuff looks the same, though. That didn't change nothing. But our, serve, our check engine light came back on. So we so we'll check the other one. Our check engine light came back on, which is good. All right, so we cut that signal ground. Now we're going to chassis ground, and we're just limiting the computer ground. Well, the the sensor ground in the computer, I, I guess. And we still have key on engine off. And we still have our light, check engine lights on, which is good. When I crank it, there's our waveform still for, S, for SEI. When I crank it, no crank signal still at all. What's weird is I put the grounds back together now through this jump lead, but the engine light stays on The whole time and that's how we got it to go away before is why i'm plugging it let's look at our crank again i know our cam works but watch the crank count nothing no crank count at all check engine light stays on the whole time all right now i'm probing at the injector again and watch our voltage on the injector off, on. Off, on. Cranking, but we're losing power. We're losing ASD relay power. All right, so I had it hooked up to the injector. Now I'm going to the ignition coil, which would be 12 volts constant, which is from our ASD relay power. And if you look, cycle the key, we get ASD relay power and it loses it. Cycle the key. We get it and loses it and crank and nothing, nothing at all. We keep losing ASD relay power and we have no crank sensor signal. We even swap relays, same exact results. All right, so what we're doing now is I'll show you on the schematics here. C3 pin three ASD relay control is right there and it sucks energy down. 
to all your injectors, coils, and everything. We got a back probe on the computer C33. He's gonna touch it to chassis ground. When I tell him to, we'll have our voltage. Because remember, when I cycle the key, it does and it goes away and it's dirty as hell, signal. Go ahead. So it stays on right there the whole time. But look how nasty. There's like interference on this thing. On this signal, you can see interference in there. Just really weird. But either when we do that, we have everything hooked up, even our crank sensor, a reference and everything we still have no crank signal right here watch this no crank signal at all if we go back it recalls and see what it says all right we go back now we got no crank signal we had auto shutdown relay control circuit which we're doing Field level, sending ambient temperature high, fuel high, throttle position high, engine coolant high. Well, that's because we cut that sensor. That's because we cut that wire. I believe it says it's all active. So let's erase them. Try it again. Reread codes. See what we come up with. No fault codes detected. No fault codes detected. Go to live data. Got a lot of noise there. Which is weird. Well, I did it right there, good. Come on, I'll tell. Oh, look what we lost. Our key on engine off, we don't even have engine. Uh, service engine light now. Can you unplug that, uh, the one you just hooked up? Yeah, you bet. So why do we not have that now? Unplugged? Yep. Already plug it back in? So that didn't change nothing. That's just the ABS light there. Let's go to crank. I'm gonna crank it. No crank signal. Nothing on there. What I want you to do is leave that ASD relay hooked up, that one. Right. And then come over here when I tell you to pull. Just unclip this one. I'll tell you when. All right. Uh, hang on one sec. Unclip this one off the wire. Yeah, I'll tell you when. Go ahead. Ready? Yep. Ready? Yeah, everything comes back to life as soon as you unclips that on the dash. Now, why is that? I don't know. <clears throat> all right, so what I did now, since we unclipped it, I took that wire harness side for all, this, for all the sensor grounds, the chassis ground, and to ASD relay ground coming off from the computer. Um, I'll show you this, and we still got service engine light. So there has to be something, one or two things left. Even though from the first two videos, we finally got the calm restored. You have to watch those. But there has to be something in this harness that's taking the computer down. Other signals, or there's something in the computer that the crank sensor in the short had took the computer down. See if we get any comps now. Nothing. All right, so I still have that all piggyback there, like we had it to ground. ASD relay ground to chassis ground. Sensor ground to chassis ground. I'm scoping on the can crank sensor now, 5 volt reference. And you can see we got that same damn hash in there. But why? Why do we have that? That's the question. Let me crank it again. Nothing. Let's check the other wire. Okay. Same hash here on the other wire, but we. Should not have 5 volt reference the whole time. Let's just unplug this. Unplug the ASD computer relay ground and the sensor ground. 
Now we got four to six fold jump. That makes no sense. What in the hell? Look at that. If you look here, we got a difference of a little bit over 1.6 volts. That is insane. Which we're not supposed to have. That's a dirty, dirty, dirty signal. On the crank sensor, 5 volt ref. Now, is it because let me just plug the sensor ground back in quick. Now I just got the sensor ground plugged back into itself. ASD relay, not grounded, just from the computer naturally. And there is our signal again. Our sensor ground, that's why the hash is there. Because we had our sensor ground unplugged, so that is good there. But now let me go to sensor ground to chassis ground and see if it gets cleans up as well. Instead of running it through the computer. Just taking sensor ground, plugging it in to chassis ground. And it's still got a clean signal. Except for here. There was a little hump there, yeah. Oh, okay. So what we need to do now is we need to look at I'm gonna have to go review this footage here on this video to grasp all this, but there's something in the harness or this computer is doing some crazy stuff. At least we got communication to it. We shouldn't have had five volts. Some we have five volt reference on the crank signal, but the signal we don't have nothing moving. We still got five volts on that. We get ASD relay voltage, and then the computer ungrounds it. The computer's ungrounding it for a certain reason. We got to figure that out, and that'll be our answer for this '98 Dodge Ram.